next to the loss of the galaxy. All right, off to the next people. Commander, we were just talking to Liara. She's a strong one. I'd say her world's just been completely rocked. Completely? Adams and I were just remembering Novaria and the terrible way her mother died. Liara seemed so together afterward. Couldn't have been easy. <clears throat> For weeks, she told me stories about her mother. Yeah, me too. I have a feeling she'll be okay. Yeah. Hope so. Commander. She went straight to her cabin. She's not answering her calm. So bad. I've never seen Liara like this. Not even after Noveria. Damn. Can you talk to her? You've known her as long as any of us. And with Palavan. I'm just another damn reminder of how many people are dying. You should talk to her. I just regained my homeworld. She just lost hers. Well, I don't have any magic words. She needs I'll go talk to Liara. Good. When she went by, she just really needs you right now. Thanks, Shepard. Word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. Wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? If there are, I can't see them. It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before... Before your friend picks you up, dusts you off and tells you you're the best damn soldier he's ever met. We'll get through this. We always do. Not something you can ever get used to. Seeing a world go down like that. Thousands of years of civilization on fire. But it wasn't your fault. Thessia was already... Damn it! I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps Where the hell's that coming from anyway? Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. How did this happen, Shepard? Did I just assume the Asari would be ready? That the Council would protect them? Or was I so busy with the Catalyst that I ignored my own people? You'd never do that. They're dying by the millions! I told those people on Thessia we'd save them! How many Asari died? Because I demanded their help. None. Shepard, that isn't true. 
You've been warning your people for four years, Liara. There's not a damn thing you should feel guilty about. If we move fast enough, they'll have a chance to survive this, to start again. We lost Thessia, but we haven't lost the Asari yet. Helping the refugees. That's something I can do. It's something I owe them. I knew you'd think of something. I still need some time, Shepard. But thank you. I need some time, Shepard. Okay then. All right, then I guess I'll. Mm, I had to go to the silver strip. Silver strip. The sun. The silver strip sunlight. I don't know what you said. Everything else is moving, but not the people. I gotta invite some people over to my apartment. You know, it is after what happened to Athesa. Alright then, let's see, who should I invite first? You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers. Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats and public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach too and an inhaler for asthma. 
Do you have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill, trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one. Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Yeah. Next. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. We just didn't get much of a chance to talk at the party. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we going to stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nebos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that, did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. <laughs> 